welcome to the 30th of December in 2020. <sighs> the penultimate day of this year. <clears throat> Rather exciting. I don't really have any exciting plans for today or tomorrow. Um, at least I don't think exciting is the right way to put it. Um, but uh, I did say a while back, a little bit ago, that I would take requests from people. And I only got a request for, you know, stories to share or poems to read, things like that. I only got one request by someone who calls themselves Quiet Pebble. And um, so they, they sent this request on the 19th of this month. And they said for future vid- uh, they suggested, first of all, f- for future videos if I do something related to Brahalla. And I couldn't really think of really many Brahalla related stories for December in 2020. But um, in, in any case, I'm going to recite a poem that they wrote. Quiet Pebble said that Quiet, Quiet, Pebble, Quiet Pebble said I wrote it based on the character I made in the comment section of the eight uh, the video on the 18th, <clears throat> um, talking about uh, character creation, D and D, things like that. Here's the poem. Here's the poem. There once lived an alchemist who lived by the night. Most of people who came to who came to there were drawn away by fright. For anyone who visited were instantly instilled with fear. The alchemist was dangerous, so no one dared to near. The alchemist was powerful, but not one to dread. All he really wanted was a nice and friendly and nice and kindly friend. His standards were higher than the mass. If you wanted to relate with him, a trial you must pass. The trial was difficult, but hope shall not be hope shall not be ceased. For if the alchemist sees dedication, he shall be pleased. You wonder what the alchemist goes to by name. Never shall you know till you clear his game. So, a pretty cool, a pretty neat little uh, character concept, I think. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Quiet Pebble, for that uh, submission. It was it was uh, it was fun to read. Um, be interesting to see if you do anything more with that character or not. It's totally fine. I didn't really have anything else planned for December in 2020 today. Um, I think the only thing is uh, I'll mention, um, you know, some may wonder what I will be doing for the final day of the month and the final day of the year. It's pretty simple, really. I, um, for the past uh, couple of weeks, I've been preparing a, um, a message to conclude the year, basically, a message of reflection and a message of looking forward. A message that a message that looks at the, the you know the growth and accomplishments that I have seen as serendipitous, as well as the vision and goals that I have moving forward, looking forward into twenty twenty one. Because it's something I've been thinking about a lot lately. What do I want to accomplish? What do I want to see happen as serendipitous? What do I want to try to do? Um, I've had, like, I'll go into more detail tomorrow, but I've had quite the year <laughs> as serendipitous. And, uh, well, I look forward to talking about it tomorrow. I know this is a very short video. I didn't have very much planned. But uh, just know that, um, <clears throat> as always, I appreciate you being here, and I appreciate you listening. So until next time, all the best.